Hello folks, hello fans, welcome to the Spider Series Official, I am Spider Fury Justice, the showrunner of the show, and we have three new cast members, so technically there were supposed to be four people who will be showing up, but due to respect to the last minute, but we have three new newcomers who will be with us with me and Talco's character in the show. I've been working with these people since last year during this um, Jazz Rangers project that I was trying to do, but that attempt went fail. But these are the new cast cast members. I've been working them well, and they did much profit as I could. So I just want to introduce to these new people, and hopefully we should put, get a lot of information about these guys and what character they'll be playing in the season. So let's go over to my right gesture of my profile. As you can see here, please welcome you guys is number one favorite. You guys will probably know eventually. Jared Steinberg. Yo, what's up? Hello, Jared Steinberg. How are you feeling on this fine evening? Feeling good. I felt like it's been a long day for me. Yeah, it's been a long day for me, ever since election days today, but, you know, what are the odds? Um, anyways, right next to Jared, we have Mason Keith. Hello. Hello, Mason. How are you doing? Doing good. They no college stuff. They, they be good. They be good. They had me back. They good. Well, answer your question. Have you thought this day would be long, or would you think this day would be short? I'm going to be long and short. That's okay. That's actually going to be perfect. <laughs> I mean, I like whatever yeah. your day is at your um country, I think it's probably very short or long, depending on where you live. Um, Catalina Torres or Topez. Is it Topez? Okay. It's Catalina, but hi. Uh, I, I, it says Catalina on my list. So welcome, Catalina Topez. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing well, I guess. <laughs> So, it seems to me that, I'm sorry to say this, but you're the only girl in the cast this season. I gotta say that. So, how does it feel to be the uh, the like the first lady in season two to be the only lady this season? I mean, I'm used to it, to be honest. No, like, we actually had a, um an only girl last season, but she's not coming back into this season. So, it's kind of sad, but we only have the only girl this season, so... You're the only girl. There's only the rest of the guys in the season, so make friends Which with Which means there's going to be a lot of ship art about me, isn't there? Uh, I have nothing about that yet, but I can't say nothing yet. Yeah, well, like, we're trying to get to know the characters first, and that's why we're here for. Because you guys, as newcomers, will tell the audience who's been watching this podcast, will, tell, uh, will let you know what characters you will be playing in the season. So, that's what we're here for. So, so we have Jared Steinberg, Mason Keith, and Caddis Topes with me tonight. We'll be uh, we will be talking about what their characters who will be playing in the show for Spider in the City season two. Let's discuss what Jared Steinberg's character is. Jared Steinberg, tell us your character on the show. So my character Spark, he's pretty much like a. I'm not sure how to explain it since. I describe him. He's pretty much somewhat the opposite of me. He's very flirtatious in a way. He's also he likes to be a show off, which, and also he can be, but he just likes to play the hero. Yes. Um, which, yes. So that you're on correct. So that is a Spark. You'd be playing. His last name is gonna be Mitchell. So it's gonna be Spark Mitchell. So that's your character name on the show, and you. Uh, we will be talking about your personality once we get to know Candidus and Mason's character. Mason, tell us your character on the show. I feel like like my character is gonna be like Drake. It's we eat the cool guy, and after he like plant a good friend, it's a genius. That's. No, no, no. It's, it's going to be fun, though. Yeah, fun we will out. discuss about more personalities about your character once we reveal Caddis' character and also Jared's. Uh, Caddis, what? why don't you tell us your character in the show? Well, my character's name is Stacy, and just like Jared, she's a, a bit opposite to me, kind of. Well, at least in terms of her being athletic, like really athletic, and I'm not. I like never leave my house. <laughs> 
And you guys Except are, like school like twice a week. And most of you guys, your characters are correct because we've been working with these characters last year when there was no attempt of Jasmine just being uploaded to the channel for the first time. But you guys were correct during the shooting last year. So we will be talking about I'll be talking Jazzy about Jazzy Ranger coming back. I wish, but apparently Spider in the City is what we need to focus on. So I wish we can get that project back, but we don't know we do not know when. So we will uh -huh. see that time continues. But anyways, let's talk about your personalities that you've been discussing ever since I get to know you guys' characters. Uh, Jared, your character is going to be Spark Mitchell. He'll be playing um, well, the personalities from last year. He is a, like, a sarcastic, mocking person who's been mocking to everyone. He thinks that he's a jerk. He thinks that he's like... Um, he likes to share his opinions to himself. He's the most kind, willing person. He will do anything to help people on his um, team, maybe his friends. And he likes to share a lot of ideas to himself recently. So he's like a mocking, kind of courageous person. How, how would you describe that in, in a persuasive way? I would describe him, he is pretty, I think he's more like the way he acts is kind of the opposite of how I act. Him being mocking and mockative and also very i'm not sure if he's in his flirtations which is the opposite of me i'm not very flirtatious i'm more a shy shy individual and i don't like to mock people because i more because of my awareness of how other people feel even though i like to keep things to my my how i my thoughts to myself just to make sure it doesn't rub people the wrong way i also like sometimes i speak my mind a bit but I, even though I show my kind-heartedness and also the my empathy, I also like to help other people out the best way I can. Yeah, it seems. But, like, <laughs> yeah, there's, but it seems but, to me that your character might well um build up some character development maybe sometime in the middle of the season. But that's what the personality is for your character, so that pretty much explains it all. But we will see the change of the character growth for your character very soon. Um, well, Mason Keith, your character, are you ready? Ready. <laughs> your character on the show from last year, Drake Alexander, he is going to be some handsome man. He is like, he's trying to prove himself to get girls, Okay. <laughs> It's kind of funny though, like, he's like a <laughs> handsome, he's, you can tell because of the hair look, he thinks he's all spiffy, he's all dressy, he's classic, he thinks all himself, he's gonna be handsome, he's like, he's he thinks that everyone besides him, he thinks he's the most special person to be around, around his crew, all he thinks about himself, he thinks he's the handsome guy, so we will see a lot of funny chiz on the show, so how would you describe your character in a, pers a persuasive way? Uh, the one thing about me handsome, but talked about his style pretty much. Forget the ladies? Mm, maybe not. That's I actually similar to him for getting lady, but mm, yeah, babe, that's not gonna work. But too shy and long time ago in real life. Yes, but but Lee Book is supporting through the group. He be supported. That's awesome, and I don't have to. Time will tell. It's have to wait and see. Could you, could you possibly your character could talk to a mirror by himself? Yeah, I usually talk myself. That's my honesty. What's well, wrong the mirror? It's like it doesn't like mirror. It's like we're, like some kind of reflection. You're talking to your own mirror, but you're talking about yourself. Pretty much. There are maybe yeah. some times in the middle of the season that could happen. Anyways, um, but that's nice to get to know your character, and then we're gonna go to. Uh, Katniss's character. Katniss, your character, like you said before, she is an athletic person. She's like an athletic girl. She joins in this um junior high school, and she's like, she is a winning attitude girl. She's like, she's accomplished her goals. She she wants to become an athletic person. Uh, she's strong willing. She will achieve her goals once her dreams uh, dreams come true, and she's very hard of mind. And she does um, addicted to boys. Wait, what was that last part? <laughs> she is addicted to boys. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna date someone in this season, aren't I? I probably will probably assume that. So, 
So we do we do know for a fact your character is mostly about her dreams and her af- athletic goals. Do you want something to add on to that yeah. statement that makes this character wants to come along? I don't know. Maybe per- I, perfectionism. I don't know. Just stop looking at me. Okay. Well, don't worry. Until you get, until your character gets in the middle of the season, we will let you know of how your character is gonna be like. Don't worry. Um, is I mean I know you uh, you're kind of shy, but don't worry. Just try your best with more enthusiasm once we get to the recording. Um. So I'm gonna ask you. Some, I'm gonna ask you guys some individual questions now, Jared. Uh, with your character involved, who else might get the best chemistry with your character? Not sure because I felt like there's probably. I think he's more. He might get a girlfriend or something soon. But I, I felt like the. I like to see where his true love interest really lies. I mean, with, with your character being involved, um, he might possibly there might be a possibility if if the same comparison with your trade to um, the girl's trade, there might be some connection between you two might be ending up as a love relationship. But we're not quite there yet because I mean, this series is mostly about comedy, so we need to figure out some strategy to make to build up to that connection to get a love interest. So we're not there yet, but we, you might be on the right track on that. Um. Mason, I have a question. Uh, with your character involved, okay, who do you think who might get the best chemistry with you? Well, <laughs> it will kind of be himself, but I feel like it might be one of the late the one of one of the girls. It's yeah, I don't know. It's might be that it might be get rejected or get get back to get start to relationship with in moving forward. Right. It, yeah. All right, and then Cadidus, who, who do you think you might have the best chemistry with your character? Hmm. Who would have the best chemistry with my character? Well, I mean, if we're going by the uh, Jazzy Rangers series, oh, is that a spoiler? Um, that is not. I'm afraid not. Then probably. I don't know the main character, maybe. Who's the main character? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Um, if you're going from that logic, I mean, I wouldn't. I probably would say some cast members you probably know from last year. I think they're coming in also in this season, so we'll probably figure out more. Um, of which people might come from Jazz Rangers. So it might be, you might be falling like falling in love with probably the chemistry of my character. I I can't say nothing about it. But any other people in the cast you might fall in love with. I don't know. You might your character is like a very truly person who might who might care about. So we'll see about that. So anything else you got like to share about your characters? Hmm, I feel like I'm not sure how to describe what what I want to see more about about him. I think his true personality maybe. His personality that he is now could be a flux. Like maybe he's trying to hide who he is, and maybe his true, maybe his true personality could blossom. I think the audience might love who he really is when you get deep within him. Nice, nice. So, right. Yeah. All right, um, Mason and Caddis, would you would, would you guys want to share about Europe more about your character? Mm. My share, it might be my. I feel I feel like Jerry will be white about it, but might be truly tendons. Yeah, I feel he's white about it. Yeah, yeah. and also I want to share Mason, your character, your best bud from last year. Um, the the guy who plays the Green Ranger, Noah Seymour Smith. I we we have no nothing like information about him, so. Tough luck. How does it feel to be with these two buds? I mean, Caddis and Jared on your side. How does it feel to be with them? Feel pretty great because making making friends and going going it's going to move forward with it. It's making friends. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's like the Be truly good. most important thing with uh, because these two. I mean, if you were all alone, if you meet with the other cast members, I mean, it wouldn't be right. You might as well get a group of buds with you just in case. If you don't remember those things what we did last year, 
I mean, they'll still be with you no matter what. That's what it's mostly all about. Um, um, so I just had a question before, but let me ask you this. I forgot to tell you this right before the beginning. How did you guys get booked into this role? Because you guys were here for Jazz Rangers, but also I, we, we want the fans to know how you got booked into this role. So Jerry, why don't you start off first? So I think we all, all three of us are gonna have the share of the. Yeah, probably. I, yeah. Yes, so much. I think because we got contacted about being called to our roles, which is, which is we each of us have based on our we usually based on our favorite colors, how we, how, what our names are, stuff like that, even how we acted they tried to try try our best to differentiate our personalities to the characters so we would be able to get a feel for, for what our characters ha would act like right. in a way yeah so that's what pretty much got you guys all started last year. So like, we, you guys get your roles, you guys get your guys' colors, and then you guys were being contacted with the guy who got you like mainly uh, get you guys' roles and how you, um, the action starts, how the recording is supposed to be like with reading scripts. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the entire story. Mason, what you um, what Jared said? Do you do you have anything else? Uh, do you like to say with that statement? Uh, that that statement, Jared, stay after he's right about it, actually. Make, making connections. Yeah, he it, but yeah. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, so this season of Spider in the City, we will get to see some cool adventures with these guys. We will learn everything about these, all these character growths, all these explanatories about their connections, their love interest, the relationship between the character development. We will see a lot of those this season. This season might be the best season of all, the, uh, the GOAT season, greatest of all time. Uh, anything else you'd like to say before we end the interview? Get into this roles and I just want to say congrats getting these roles and you guys made your improvements of getting to this book role in this season. So anything you guys like to say to your viewers? I would like to say is don't be I would like to say is make sure to I hope you have fun understanding the characters we will play as and you get a deeper feel of their personal experiences, even how but their true motives as character as the people they are and their adventure you get to explore their life story indeed and hopefully the same goes for the rest caddis and mason you guys will understand about their fields of their character development during the season um, but thanks for you three for um, watching in. It's been a long time since we've been in this interview. We've been here for 21 minutes. Sheesh. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching Spider Series Official. If you guys like this video, hit the like, subscribe button, and that notification bell. So I will let you know when Spider in the City Season 2 will come out. In fact, I have the air date of when Spider in the City is going to come for Season 2. And it's going to be coming on March 2023. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys next year. Peace.